Hey everyone, welcome back to another little catch up in the minimalism series and today we're talking about going paperless. For myself personally, I have my uni books and my organization notebook that are made out of paper. Everything else I've been trying to reduce down as much as I can, so these are some tips that I have for you. First up, because receipts fade anyway, try and photograph them and keep a digital copy. This will help you retain the copy for your finances, you aren't going to have to sort through everything like a crazy person because you can keep them organised and named neatly on your computer. An app that I would suggest using for this is called Cam Scanner. I use it for bringing a lot of documents into my computer. If you can survive without a printer, then remove the printer if possible. I personally don't have a printer at home or at the gym. We try to go without one. Switch to online billing. This is super easy to do. Most companies will let you switch to online billing and all your bills will just get emailed to you. For those important documents like birth certificates, marriage certificates, death certificates, anything that is hard to replace, even passports, keep them in an important documents folder and label these sections accordingly. When you check your mail, recycle the letters that you don't need or that aren't for you before you even get them into the house. Uh, they're more likely to just be sitting around if you bring them inside. For your document storage online, I would suggest Dropbox, Google Docs and sending documents, I would use Hightail. If you do need to sign any paperwork, you can use Preview in your Mac or I use KudaSign on my mobile phone. It's really easy to use and the signatures actually look neat. For a task list, my favourite app at the moment is called Wonderlist. It's alright, it could do better, but we'll see how it goes. I would also recommend if you're someone who loves reading, if you can live without having all the books around, you can either sell them after or you can have an e-reader. Something that's also super important to remember to do is back up on an external hard drive. I hope you found these tips helpful and I will catch you guys in the next minimalism series. Remember, hashtag 60 days to minimal if you want to show everyone what you're doing as part of the challenge.